Squaring the circle with the Great Pyramid. Okay, well, there are two ways to square the circle. The first is to have the same circumference and perimeter in the circle and the square, the same distance around the outside. So you want your square, the perimeter, to equal the circumference of the circle. The second way to square the circle is through the area. So you'd want the area of the circle to be equal to the area of the square. The Great Pyramid is widely recognized as having practically shown a way to square the circle using number one, circumference and perimeter equivalents. So let's look at it. So there's the square of the Great Pyramid. There's the circumference of the circle. And so let's look at this. So what you do is you take the height of the Great Pyramid and make that be the radius of the circle we're going to use. So this is how the Great Pyramid practically solves the number one type of squaring the circle. You take the height of the Great Pyramid and use that as the radius of the circle. Okay, then, uh, and so the, the formula for finding the area is 2 pi r. The circumference equals 2 pi r. And so since we've got a radius of 280, the circumference would be 1759.29. Okay, now uh, let's look at the square. So the square, notice the square is the base of the Great Pyramid. You can see this square touches the two sides. So this is the practical squaring of the circle. The base, if you take a square whose base is the size of the Great Pyramid, and then take a circle whose radius is the height of the Great Pyramid. Okay, so the area of the square is uh, four times the side. I mean, excuse me, the, the perimeter of the square is four times the side. Okay, so the side of the Great Pyramid is 440 royal cubits, so that means the square is 1760 square. Okay. So notice how very similar these two numbers are. So you have a practical squaring of the circle. Okay, you're within 99.9%, .9%, all right? But if we use a practical value for pi, because pi is ultimately unknowable, it goes on forever. So if we use a practical value, the Archimedes pi is a famously used value, uh, 22 sevenths. Now you notice that... Uh, 223 71st is a little bit less than pi, and 22 sevenths is a little bit more than pi, but 223 over 71 is too bulky to use, so 22 sevenths is not only a practical value, but Harry Sievertson, a great metrologist who studied the history of metrology all around the world, shows that 22 sevenths is used as a measure in building so many ancient buildings in different cultures. So 22 sevenths has been used as a practical uh, way to get at pi. All right, so if we use that, the, the, the uh, formula for the circle now becomes 2, not times pi r, but 2 times 22 sevenths times r. And when we do that, we don't get 1759.29, we get 1760 as a circumference. Okay, so now those are exactly 100% of each other. And so with a practical squaring of the circle, which is the Great Pyramid really does by giving us the base uh, of this, for the square and the height to get the circle, it is a practical squaring. So in a sense, the Great Pyramid is like, reaches the extent of the practical in reaching the theoretical. So you have squared the circle here through circumference and perimeter. Okay, now let's look at number two. The circle and the square have the same area. Okay, so there's uh, the, the circle that, that we used. Uh, which has got a radius of the height of the Great Pyramid. So the formula for the area is pi times r squared. Okay, and so since r is 280, then 246,300.8 would be the area for that circle. Okay, then if we take the square, the base of the Great Pyramid, we know that the area is the side squared, so that's 440. So 440 squared is 193,600. Okay, so look at those. Okay, not even close. So using the, the circle and the square that we use to square the circle by perimeter and circumference doesn't work for area squaring. Okay, so number two, the area squaring of the circle does not work with the Great Pyramid. Or does it? Okay, so let's start with a rectangling of the circle. Now this is not a squaring of the circle, but let, you'll see where we're going here. So you've got, you've got our circle there, and when you take uh, the, the, the formula we used for, you know, area equals pi r squared, you get 246,300.8. Okay, that's the area, all right? So let's just put that over there with our, with our circle. But we're, we're, we're rectangling uh, now, so you've got a 560 times 440 square over there. 
or rectangle, I should say, over there. And so we know the formula for the area is the length times the width. So you got 560, which is two times the height of the Great Pyramid, and then 440, which is a, which is a side. So if we take 440 times 560, it equals 246,400. So look at that. We're pretty close. We're pretty close to get an area squaring. But again, it's not a square. It's a rectangle. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do now, but if we use a practical value for pi, let's do that again. Okay. So we use that Archimedes pi there. Then the formula uh, is A equals pi r squared using r is 280. Okay. But again, we're going to substitute in the 22 sevenths for pi. And when we do that, we get 246,400. So now we have rectangled the circle, but that's not the, that can be done exactly because we just did it. What we're looking to do is get the, the square of the circle. So we perfect, as, as I said, we perfectly rectangled the circle, but can the circle be squared? Okay, so let's uh, divide our rectangle that does rectangle the, the circle. Let's divide it into four sections. So you got 220 by 280, four sections that are 220 by 280. So let's put them in there. Okay, so let's take the first one and put it over here and, and turn it horizontal. Take the second one and just lay it next to the other one like that. Take the third one. And again, let's put that one sideways. And we take the fourth one like that. Okay, so you can see we formed a square through these four. and uh, But then there's this area in the middle, okay, that, that's sort of hollowed out. All right, so these are the measures that you'd have for rearranging our rectangle, okay? So uh, it's a square of 500, because if you see, it's 280 plus 220 on each side. So each side of that square is 500, okay? So yeah, that square right there is a square of 500. So the area would be 500 times 500, which is 250,000, okay? So the area and the area of the small square, 60 times 60 is 360, okay? So subtracting the small square from the large scale, uh, large one, uh, we get 250,000 minus 3,600. So 246,400 would be the area uh, of, that, of that square, okay? And look, the area of the circle using a 280 radius is 246,400. So this square right here, if you, uh, by subtracting the square within the square and using practical pi, we have a perfectly, we have perfectly squared the circle by area, but you know, so it's, it's a square, but with a square cut out from the middle, but it is a, a squaring of the circle. So that's interesting. Okay. So we did sort of square the circle by the second method because we've got a square in a circle with the same area. All right, now last thought here, the meaning of squaring the circle. It's this ancient problem. It's this conundrum that supposedly was unsolvable, which we found the Great Pyramid solved. So Marty Lee's YouTube channel has got this logo. It's a, it's a square in a circle with pi in the middle, okay? So one thing that Marty emphasizes all the time on his channel is that a square equals Earth. Anciently, it's a symbol of Earth and that a circle anciently symbolizes heaven. Okay, so, you know, earth, we could say in many ways is finite, and heaven is infinite. And here's one way. If you take the area or the perimeter formula for a square, it's going to be a finite number. You, you, get, you can measure the, the base and multiply it by the, measure a side, multiply it by a side, and you can get an exact uh, area and perimeter. But when it comes to uh, heaven, the circle, the area, and the perimeter are never are, are going to be infinite because ultimately you're using a radius times pi, and pi goes on forever. You know, every number is there. Probably every birth date in the history of the world is there. Every because it goes on infinitely, and so it's infinite. So the area is ultimately going to be a number that's infinite, and and the perimeter is going to be one. So a square is Earth, the circle is heaven. So squaring the circle has to do with getting heaven, heaven and earth together, resolved, this ancient problem. How do I get right with heaven? How can earth get with heaven? How can man be right with God? It's kind of what the squaring of the circle problem is, is a, a metaphor for, okay? So this, we've seen that the Great Pyramid find, finds ways, practical ways, to square the circle, okay? Because when we use the Archimedes pi, the 22 sevenths, the practical value, we do it. So bottom line... You know, heaven, God, ultimately invisible, yet clearly seen, connected through faith, squaring the circle. <laughs>